Greetings, family, friends, and survivors of this channel. Well, we are charging. I'm running the diesel Jenny this morning. And we're checking out the new Magnum inverter. And I have it set at 80% of its capacity. It's a 105 amp inverter charger. 4,000 watt, 24 volt. So this unit I bought on Craigslist. It's interesting how it came about. I was, you know I had ordered one of these and just this top part, just the inverter and it was damaged. So I sent it back. And I was looking at getting another one from another wholesaler. This unit was 2095 and this Flexmax 60 was on sale for 425 and I was just about to commit to buy, hit the, the button commit to buy, and it was 2500 for this piece and this piece. I remember seeing this unit uh, for sale on Craigslist over a month ago, and I go, gosh, that should be nice to have, but I didn't have any money at the time. So I went to look for it again after this unit came back damaged. You know, the one that I had bought was damaged and I, I returned it. And I couldn't find the, the ad anymore. It had been taken down. So I went back to trying to find a, a good deal online for this unit and this unit. And I was just about to click that button and I really felt like the Holy Spirit said, check Craigslist again. And sometimes the Lord talks to me that way. I wasn't thinking about Craigslist. I was confident I was just going to buy new uh, these two pieces. And so I checked Craigslist and the guy finally had realized that his ad had expired and he had just relisted the ad the day before. So this is pretty amazing. This unit and this unit alone are 2500 this is another $600 plus $150 for the meter plus the breakers. So if you add it all up, what he had for sale, this unit, this unit, and this unit together is $3,600 to $3,900 worth of parts. And he sold it to me for $1,500. And that's really a happy thing. So yeah, the other inverter came damaged and that was a bummer, but the long and short of it is I got all of this for $1,500. So God is good. He takes care of me. We ordered a Midnight Classic 200 and this one's going to have 1,980 watts on it. And this Flexmax is going to have 1440 watts on it. And we're going to leave that system, the solar part. I'm going to pull the inverter out, put it in storage. And then we're trying to clean it up, putting some of it in conduit. And I've got a lot of rearranging to do out here. These cables are just temporary until I get a chance to reroute some stuff. One thing I will be able to do is that's a 1400 watt array on that PWM charge controller. And this will have a 1440 watt MPPT. I will be able to data log the exact difference between the two arrays, one being MPPT and its performance in low light versus the PWM and its performance in low light. Everybody says, well, the MPPT is better, but nobody can actually show me the data how much better in the same situation. People say, well, I changed my PWM out for an MPPT and I get so much more power. Well, okay, how much more power? 
Well, this will be easy because I'll be able to compare it exactly through the data loggers of both these machines. Although this one's 14 or 40 watts more, that's not going to make that much of a difference and that's easy to uh, figure into the calculations. Well, I'm going to go down and see how much the generator is pulling at that amperage. One neat thing about this is when the ho this passes through power directly to the house, as soon as the generator comes on, it passes power straight to the house and whatever's left, it sends to the charger. That's why you're seeing this figure change. So if the house starts drawing more, the battery charger part of this starts backing off. So I'm going to go down and see what the uh, output is on the Jenny and then I'll know whether I can turn this up to 100%. you could see it was just slightly over 75 percent and that's probably just about right of course it will come down 45 minutes from now it'll be down about 30 percent so that seems like a good place to leave it maybe a bigger generator at some point and I could turn that up but it's putting out quite a few more amps. Uh, my other inverter charger was a 70 amp. And this one puts out 105, but I have it turned down to 80%. So it's hanging in there right around 90, 90 amps. 90 amps is quite a bit more than 70. So it looks like it's holding it fine. And this is our first generator run on that inverter. So far, so good. Have a blessed day.